Hello and welcome to Truck NIS. We are getting started a little bit early here at Homestead Miami Speedway because it is the final race of the playoffs before the championship race. And we are racing to try to get our way into that championship race at Phoenix to fight for the championship title. So, since uh, it's such a big, uh, important time here, I wanted to take the extra moment to uh, describe what the situation is. And uh, we'll do that by looking at the league standings first and foremost. So uh, you can see here uh, the points standings, but we're missing some context. Ryan Carwile has already punched his ticket to the final four. So that's three spots left. Session, Nick has found his way into victory lane and earned his place at Phoenix. That's two spots left. Now Dylan up here, he's got a nice point lead. He's got about 40, almost 40 points up on us. He's going to be almost impossible to catch. So that leaves one spot that we are currently occupying here in P4. Now Gavin's only three points behind us, so he could easily pass us this race and get that fourth spot. And Tyler, Scott, or Cabe, any of these guys, they could find themselves in victory lane here tonight and advancing by winning. You win and you are in the championship four. So that's the situation heading into tonight. Very important to know. And uh, right now we are about to do some qualifying and hopefully get a nice starting spot for this one. Incredibly important. So we'll see what we can do. It's clear. Jumping out here in our qualifying setup, actually not provided by Daniel this week. Um, I think he might have been busy or something along those lines, and that's okay. I never uh, expect him to send those things. Um, I just I really appreciate him when he does. Very kind of him to share those. And so we're going with OSR, uh, three OSR setups that I'll normally run in the official races. And uh, the Q setup, pretty solid. Let's see uh, what we can do with it here. Get through one and two all right. It seems like the fast way around is high side one and two. And then we're going to take it low here. About a tenth off, our, off of our optimal, but we're in the point sixes. That's not bad at all. P4. That's where we're listed at the moment. I think lap one was going to be our best opportunity for lap. Tiger's just a little bit too worn on this second lap, I think, to do anything significant. Plus, we didn't get the, the run to the line. But we'll go ahead and run it out anyway. Yeah, just not quite the same amount of grip, so we got a solid lap in. That's about all I can ask for. Right now, it is Dylan on pole. He's looking good in points to make uh, his way into the final four. If he wins, that's not taking away one of the spots that we're kind of fighting for because he's already in front of us, and uh, he's theoretically taking that third spot, so... Um, if anyone else is going to win, I'm okay with him winning. We've got Scott there qualifying P2. Let me change this before I forget. Very important to get this done. Scott qualifying P2. If he wins and uh, Dylan has a decent enough race, we will not make the championship four. Same story for Cabe. And so we will start P5. Nick is going to start on our outside. He's already in the championship four, as well as Ryan. So those two guys are locked in. And uh, you'll see the rest of your grid here. Gavin, three points behind us. He's starting P15. Uh, he's usually much stronger in the race than uh, in qualifying, though. So don't count him out by any means. I'm going to do our very best here. Uh, I did a practice race, um, official race, with the setup and everything. 
and uh, it went it went all right. It went decent. Um, it was pretty freaking messy, and so maybe not as many laps as I would have liked. But uh, I noticed that the truck got on the right rear, which is good. So long as I don't overdo it, I'm gonna try not to uh, let it get too loose, and uh, we'll fight it off. Only a two minute warm up, so I'll just uh, stay live here, and we'll practice a. Uh, Green flag pit stop in and practice getting off of pit road quickly, which is also important if this goes green. I think we got a good handle on that. Outside. Outside is clear. Pull our pit in. Just speed limit in the pits. I think Bryce maybe sped there, <laughs> but uh, probably because he didn't want to get in my way when I was practicing that, so he was probably being kind to us. But uh, we do that practice pit stop, and it's already time for the race. Whew. So we'll uh, we'll do our best here. We have to keep it clean. We have to have a decent run. We gotta hope. Uh, Someone doesn't win that we can't let win. Give the good luck all. And here we go. Will this be the last race of our championship hopes? Or will it be the final race before we go for the title? The estimated Huge estimated race. Good luck, everybody. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. Yeah, yeah no kidding. DNF today would hurt our points a lot. I would say it would assassinate our points, in fact. Probably uh, be completely dead. So, also important to note, stages. Those points could be valuable. Those are 30 and 60. I like the paint scheme, though. We're going to want to beat out front. P5. Should have been doing some math on the uh, on pit stop Monday. times. Two, in the outside column. Tomorrow at noon. Stupid Xfinity truck double header on Saturday. If I'm uh, not mistaken here, if we want a three, or uh, uh, yeah, keep it. Uh, I think we want to make it 45. Is what I'm trying to say. I think that's what we'll do. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The internet. Oh, that can't happen. That cannot happen. This is too big of an event. You cannot do that to me. Okay, I can't even think about that. I have to focus. Just have to hope that that's going to go away. I can't be distracted right now. Good luck. Oh, it's back green. Speaking of green, we're about to go green here. Hopefully we get ourselves a nice jump. Gotta remember, long race. Get ready. Nice car is off. Time to do your job. Go. Green flag, green flag. Outside. Keep low. Still there. Clear. We'll get clear of Ryan. Not to slide the tires too much. Sorry about that, Warren. Oh, you're good. See Scott up there getting a little bit loose. That's what I'm going to try to avoid. It's like I said when I did the official race. I don't know. Um, 
how this is going to go. But when I did the official race, we were on the right rear. Got really loose on the exits, so... Gonna try to continue to get that grip out of the corner for as long as we can. Be interesting to see what people do for strategy. Because I know there's going to be uh, a lot of temptation to come in right after the first stage. So you can be in a great position for stage two, but I think you have to do another stop if you don't make it at least 45. Got Dylan in the lead. Fully support that. You've just done 33.3. Dylan wins, then so long as we finish ahead of Gavin, essentially. Now this is uh, with the caveat that uh, stage points can change some things. As long as we finish ahead of Gavin, probably okay. I hate that my internet is being bad. I really hate that. Got a gap behind us. Kind of awkward through the corner there. Scott's really going to hurt that right rear of his. It looks like he's sliding around quite a bit. That last lap was at 33.6. But we'll see what happens. Conditions are going to be a little bit different here than they were in the official okay. race I did. So maybe the tires don't wear as like I'm expecting them to. But that's the best information I have to go off of right now, so we're going to stick with that idea. Really smooth through center and through the exit. You've just done a thirty three point seven. Dylan out there about one second ahead from us. Scott's still in second. We can't have Scott win either. Not if we want to continue on. I'm still winless this whole season. Which I guess I should be thankful I've made it this far, knowing that. We'll run a higher line for a second, see what that feels like. I'm gonna gain on it, gain on them at all there. That's okay. Get uh, over eager. And then I would like to get around him right now. Yeah. 
Inside. Clear inside. But it's inside. Keep low. Clear outside. He backs out. All right. Track position on him. Is he gonna try to go around again? He's gonna bump draft us. You're now in third. Alright. Really didn't want to lose the draft of these first two guys. They were pulling away quite a bit here. Part of the reason I felt the need to get around him. That lap time was 34.2. About point four up to Scott there. We should be getting a hint of his draft. Gabe keeping up with this though. He's point two behind. I think they're pulling away from us up front. I hope is that they'll start getting a little bit loose up there. Especially as someone like Scott, it looked like he was really getting it sideways before. P3. Okay, I'm going up high. It's interesting. see uh, what he plans to do. That's going to make him fast for a little bit. I felt a little bit tight there. Worth noting. Keep his high side again. I start running high line. I might. I'm losing them up front a little bit. Dump some dirty air on them behind us. Go a little bit faster, potentially. I was a little bit slower there, but I also entered pretty timidly. the high line for a while. That looks like Scott running a uh, high line. That's interesting. Scott's going to get alongside Dylan doing that. Uh, I didn't really want to go three wide there, Dan. Sorry, buddy. Might have started a trend. First it was me, and then uh, Cave started doing it. I'm sorry, man. I'm slowing up. He might be moving back down though, he just used it to get around him, I think. 
Remember, the stage is at 30. That's 10 more laps. That's are too low. Not what I wanted there. Not a good corner at all. Probably could be driving up here harder, go faster, but I'm so worried about getting into the wall. Okay, made a huge gain on us there. Hold them off for now. Clear inside. Those two guys ahead seem like the class of the field. Not liking the fact that Scott's up there though. It's bad news for me. Doing all right though. P3's not bad. Guess it turns out him getting sideways earlier was not so bad after all. Loose. Fight it off. Your lap time was 35.0. They're pulling away up there. Half our fuel. That was a thirty-five point zero. Go back down here and see what happens. It was faster in one and two, not in three and four. The gap in front is now 0.9. That's good consistency. Keep it up. It's slower that time. Not a great corner. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Sorry. 
Whoa, he almost clears me. So if I exit, both lose a bunch of time because of it. Clear inside. Stage. Still there it's all right. Still inside. We finished ahead of everybody we're worried about stage points with. That's all that matters there. Firewild's been saving. It's pretty darn good at that. E5, you've just done a 35.4. Clear inside. Clear inside. Clear Plan is still to come in at 45, I think. Pretty good three and four there, running the high line. Dylan to battle back. Scott's on his way to win this thing. Nick 1.6 behind us. He's not all that far back. Let's see what we got down here now. Maybe some speed. Well, I got loose there. That kind of hurt that, but... They are side by side up ahead. That's what I want to see. I'm as much of a Dylan fan right now as I am my own fan. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. Put in. Put in. Some early pitters. Oh, Ryan had a moment, it looks like. He all of a sudden falls back from Gabe. Whoa. Careful now.
Getting closer to pit stop time. Not quite there yet, but it's getting there. Nick is actually getting real close to us. Don't have to worry too much about him. Since he's already in the championship four, but the more points the better, of course. Definitely won't be holding up Nick. He's really fast compared to us right now. Gavin pit very early. That's interesting. He pit lap 36. He's going for a big play because he's probably thinking he needs to win. Or at least I think he needs to finish ahead of us, and he needs certain people not to win. So he's going for a big play. It's a good move, I think. Works out for him. That's going to be pretty awesome. Not for me, but just in general. <laughs> Nick going high line. He's going to have a gigantic run on us. Out of the corner. It's not quite here yet. There goes Ryan. Backing fourth position. Just done a 35.6. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear. The car inside. Still there. Still there inside. Clear inside. We're kind of just at the mercy of who wins this race, I think, right now. We just need Dylan to win. I think that's pretty much what it boils down to. B5. Outside. Clear outside <laughs> if you want it. Basically three wide with Nick and Gavin there. Probably should have followed Nick. I didn't see him coming up. gonna pit next lap yeah, I think. Sorry about that little fat. Oh yeah, no problem. Is that what we do? Or do we go long? See if there's a caution. Car outside. Clear outside. Outside. There's people have pit already. Including Ryan Carlisle. Both Ryan's passing us right now. Gavin, I didn't think that you'd gain that much from one corner. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed. All right, we're coming in. Oh, you're good. I should have went high on my new tires. We'll need to stop again. Okay, I'll still be clear till turn one. Hit. No. Five. We've had trouble pitting lately. Three, two. Let's see if we can do this one. right. Right here. Wow, I can do it. Fifty forty three. We'll post it, why not? All clear. Get the end this time by. There's traffic behind. Keep your wits about you. Missed my shift there a little bit. It's okay, not much time lost. The 
car behind, it's a pity. All right, how do we cycle out? Let's say, the moment. I'm gonna run the bottom for longer this time. Probably hurt my tires running high when I did. D19. The car behind you, pity. The car behind is reeling you in. The gap is now 7.8 seconds. We will need this to go green. Thanks. Alright, we'll see how this cycles out. More people pitting. Oh my god, Scott just ate the freaking barrel. Oh my god, his championship hopes are over. That's it? He can't recover from that? Oh my god. I saw it happen live. That stinks. But that is great news for us. Someone Holy cow. Died. Wow. Huge development here. That really stinks for him, though. Unbelievable. We are actually four seconds ahead of Cade. But we have three lap. Older tires. So we'll see uh, how much that uh, gap maintains. If at all. Really interested to see how this cycles out since Scott's no longer going to be part of it, I assume. You're in the top 10. Back in the top 10. Not sure if we're on the lead lap or not yet. Probably not. I think Nick was staying out long. He is. Just hoping to catch a caution. We are in the lead lap, though. Interestingly. Ryan Thompson pit much earlier, so uh, we're coming up on him quickly. Apparently fastest on track, apparently. Get some draft here from Jim. Thankfully, path Still opened there. up for us there. We didn't have to lift off too much. Outside, clear. Outside, clear. Hopefully, our pit stop was quick and clean. It seemed pretty good to me, but you never know. We've got Ryan Carwile on three lap older tires ahead of us. I'm actually surprised we're that close. Is he struggling to pass Gavin up there? Sure. Some of the last holdouts coming into the pits. Remember the stage is lap 60. Keep hustling. Potentially valuable points, you never know. Gavin started this lap in the lead. Got new tires in front of us. They should pull away from us just fine, I imagine. They seem like they might be down on power, though. We're catching them on the straightaway for some reason. What if they've had trouble of some sort?
lane are you in? What are you doing? Car outside. Dude. Clear outside. If you don't mind when a guy's catching on you, just hold your lane, I'll get around you. That was scary. I'm gonna be blocking though. Fair enough. <laughs> Nah, you got it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll take one lane on the outside. The next car's the leader. I'll take one. Clear inside. Yeah, you got it. That car didn't mean to do it. He was trying to be nice, I'm sure, but just ended up being a little bit unpredictable. So, uh got a little bit scary for us to get around. But we figured it out. I don't think it hurt too much. So we're catching uh, Ryan, but we know he has crazy good long run speed. That's the only reason we're catching him, I'm sure. But he does have three lap older tires. We're coming up on the stage. We could get our second stage win of the entire season. Could not be insignificant. To me. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do much for our championship hopes, but it would be significant to me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch or pass Ryan, though. He's looking pretty good. He's running that middle line, curiously. Seems like it gets him through the corner pretty good, though. I'm trying my best. We got the lap truck coming up on us when we're coming to the stage. I really hope he's not trying to pass us right now. I know the stage doesn't mean much, but I mean, come on. <laughs> it's making me a little nervous. I don't think I'll be able to get to Ryan, but it's okay. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep Try the high line, see if we can do anything. This lap car Inside. is fighting us. I really don't. Ryan gets to the stage. Please just go, lap car. That'll slow down Ryan a little bit. Now he's cutting him off. What is this guy doing? You've just done a 34 point act. So at least he's gone now. He's driving away. Okay, back there one second back. Not have him win. catching real quick. He's got Dylan right behind him too though. That was a contact. We 
caught Ryan, but now we can't do anything. I think our tires have about evened out. He's probably got better long run, to be honest. Stick to the bottom this time. Oh man, Cabe's coming quick. That really stinks. I don't think I'm going to be able to stay in front of him. interested in that uh, second lane Ryan's running that really seems to be working for him is he using the seam maybe I don't know what he's doing with that that lap was a 34.9 lap times are pretty consistent alright we need Dylan beat Cabe I'm gonna take Gabe or Cabe's line here Clear us. Please, still and beat him. Orion, stay out there, something. Hold them off. So we're not going to win this thing. So we need somebody. We need Ryan. We need Dylan. We need one of those two guys to win. They had a strange entry there. So like you turn to the right a little bit on entry, that was kind of weird. Gavin's yeah, been holding on pretty good back there for having uh, much older tires. Oh, big smoke. Something happened back here? We got someone way down on the apron. Or what happened there? Slow car down low. Get loose in front of Cabe. Cabe getting loose himself. I don't know what I did wrong this run. I guess maybe didn't save tires well enough sure what it is, but... Outside. Beat us. Big loose for somebody up there. I don't know who that was. I think that was a lap car in front of the leader, Ryan. There's two wide for the lead. Almost three wide, including the lap car. What a race this is. Our next pit stop is on lap 90. We're just going to do the uh, theoretical optimal. What else we can do? I don't think we're going to get a caution this race. It's been much too clean. If we do, that changes everything anyway. Sticking to the bottom this run, though. I won't be moving up. Dylan's pulling away. I'd like to see it. 
Hayden needs the win. We're much farther ahead uh, of him in the points. That lap time was 35.2. Band coming up. It's an apron in front of us. I kind of hit the apron too, though. I was watching him instead of paying attention to what I was doing. It's way down there. He wants me to take the high line, I guess. Somebody's in the wall. Inside. Inside. Sorry, Gavin. I just Still there. thought Inside. I had it. It didn't stick. There, Use the high line just this once to get around Dan. I'm throwing everything I have at the left rear and the right rear addition. So Still yeah. inside. Clear inside. There we go. They're fighting hard up there. It's making it so that way we're not falling back too far, but they clearly are much faster. Kind of uh, what's been happening all season long. I just don't have winning speed. I'm always just a tick behind the fastest guys. <laughs> Terrible loose moment. Scott has left. Crushing, man. He was looking real fast, too. Was that 35.4? And you ran me down, James. Yeah, I was the very last one to tires. A big loose moment this time, hopefully. Ah, On the 33. Just high for us. Appreciate that. Still there. Still there. Does not let us clear though. Stay low. There is a car Does he back the out? Road. He's fighting Dan though, so I understand. Clear. getting away from us up front. Unfortunate. I don't think we're getting the win here today unless some crazy stuff happens. So we just gotta hope that uh, our run gives us enough points. So we gotta maintain a good uh, finishing position. We gotta hope that Dylan can hold on to it. Because he'll uh, ahead, clinch that third spot and then we should get the fourth spot on points if it plays out that way. Just gonna hope Cabe can't catch him. And of course, we've got plenty of time to go still. Your lap time was Just don't have the long run it feels like. I don't know if it's me or what. It feels I mean that the handling doesn't feel all that bad. It's a little loose, but not unmanageable by any means. Okay, Colton, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Got Nick a second behind us. He's probably going to catch us. He pit much later. Yeah, 
might pay off to stay out long. I think that's what we'll have to do. Because I think we're in a good enough position now we can get points. Enough points. So I think uh, we don't stay out like unreasonably long. But if we stay a little longer, it might, might be good for us. You never know what can happen. It's looking like having stayed out longer worked pretty well for Nick. So he's probably going to come past us now. I think I saw Nick running the high line back there, making up ground on us. It's depressing seeing how far away they've pulled away. But we're still, we, we're, we're running well. We're fourth right now. We've got a lot of stage points. We're having a great run, just not the best out here. And that's okay. Not going to be okay in Phoenix. <laughs> but uh, you know what? All we can do is our best. some smoke and somebody maybe low on the track I wonder what that was about you never know we could get a caution too if we stay out long we haven't had a caution yet but that doesn't mean it can't happen it's making some real ground up on us Make sure I don't cut in front of him when he gets the run off one of these corners. Because I know he will. He's going to pass us soon. I'm going to stay disciplined and keep running the bottom line. Like I said I would. It's okay if Nick gets by us. He's got much newer tires. Probably get to our inside here. Goes. Car inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Keep his draft for a little bit. Kind of nice. P5. That lap time was 35.8. Be interesting to see when the guys ahead pit. Like I said, we're going. We're going to go long. I think. the gap looking like the lead oh Dylan's got a great lead he's looking very strong I uh, missed my braking marker so you're wondering why I'm up here just completely whiffed of what I was looking at I was looking at uh, the leaders and stuff it's all right just one bad corner Nick coming in, despite his much fresher tires. That's interesting. The car behind is pitting. You're back in fourth position. Gonna do just the opposite. Stay up much longer. I'm gonna pit here in 99. Never know. We had uh, almost a caution last pit cycle. Whenever Scott got the barrels, he could have ricocheted onto the track or something. Ahead is now 0.0 seconds. 
That's five minutes of fuel left. Got nine laps of fuel. We will run it dry, I think. Here's Nick coming off pit road. Oh, wow, what a corner. Excellent corner, wow. I don't know what that was. Nick's going to be coming at Mach 10, so we got to be ready for that. We'll just be predictable. He should be able to get a bias no matter what. is pitting. Still watching those guys ahead, see what they do. Car outside. Clear up top. Carwile and Cave side by side into the pits over there. Basically bumping doors. The car behind you pitting. You're back in second. Dylan pitting in now to help combat the undercut from those two. The gap in front has increased to the car in front is pitting now. The lead is pitting now. We'll cycle to the lead. You're now in the lead. The car along, of course. Pitting. But we are here, technically in the lead. Is a car leaving the pits? Nick, Ryan, we're all in a bundle right up ahead. The gap behind has now decreased to 18 seconds. Only a couple laps of fuel left. These long runs are just fine, so I'm okay with all that. Been good to the tires, I think. Running the bottom this whole run. They're manageable. We can drive them. Thanks, bud. Two minutes of fuel remaining. Fortunately, no bonus points for laps led in modern NASCAR, which is, of course, what this uh, series is based off of. Car inside. I'm sure that uh, we run a predictable Clear line for inside. Ryan to get around us here. Dumping the dirty air on us, got us tight. One's gonna be coming on by soon. Outside. Sure, Clear we give him plenty of room. You've got about two laps of fuel outside. Clear outside if you want to. Not this lap, but the next one. We're coming in.
box this lap. Outside. You have about one lap of fuel left. Really Clear Clear outside. Now 19 seconds. Pitting in here, pitting in. Don't forget to pit for more fuel. I right, gotta, gotta get it done now. Very little fuel left. In this lap, box this lap. Watch your speed. speed. Alright, we're fine. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Gotta get in the box, it's safely. Which is my favorite thing to not do. Five. Three, two, one. Right here. Forty-one, thirty-one. That was worse on the tires, I think. Although that might have been a longer run. They're quite far ahead of us. Okay, go. Be mindful. You only have one set of tires remaining. But we have very fresh tires. I'm gonna drive hard. Use up these tires. We'll still have 35 laps at the line to make use of these. See what we can do. We're currently setting the pace. That lap was at 33 points. That's on track. That shouldn't be a surprise with how long we stayed out. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. King in. The gap is 1.7. Pushing up to P7 here pretty quick. We're setting the pace. You've just done it. 33.3. This is good to be on fresh tires again. Yeah, dude. We all good. Cave's only 1.4 back of the leader. I really gotta hope he doesn't get there. It moves down, gets us in dirty air. Car outside, we're currently setting the pace. Clear up top. Someone's getting loose up there. It's Dan. It's scary for a moment. We got Gavin 5.5 up ahead of us. Thinking as long as I finish uh here or above. I'm thinking I'm okay. Uh, in regards to him, in the league standings, because he was three points behind and we got more uh, stage points all race. We're only one spot behind him now. So I think we're okay there. We just need Dylan to win. Dan has decided he's going low, so I guess we'll run by the wall. Car inside. Clear inside. I think we should be able to pass Gavin, should be able to pass Ryan Thompson up there. Before.
What line is he taking? Hold that back, Jim. You relit the car outside. The car yeah, sorry, right. I didn't mean to hold you up there. Yeah. The lap time was at 33.7. Oh, no, no, go no worries. I was just wondering how your back is doing. I'll let you know later when I stand up. Hope you have some muscle relaxers. Yeah, I have uh, bourbon and cyclobenzaprine, so I'm good. There's still a good number of laps left. We'll see how far these tires Lord take us. The next car is Lemons. Gavin getting Seven very position. loose out of the corner. He's dealing with some serious oversteer. He came in just 10 laps before us. I say just, that's quite a lot. I want his dirty air, so we'll go high. Inside. Go high. Clear. Round him. Far enough back from Ryan, I think we'll be okay. Oh, we caught him a lot quicker than I thought, so still got in some of the air, but not too big of a deal. Colton, you want the bottom or the top? I'll take top, please. V6. Too late. <laughs> My bad, I didn't hear you in time. Car outside. Clear up top. That's alright, we worked it out. I was trying to talk to him and it, and it was like blocking me from talking. So I think he still had his mic button down. We're in the top five. Didn't really lose us that much time. How close is the person in front of us? Nick is seven seconds ahead and he pit much earlier. So we'll see if we are able, we're able to catch him. Seven seconds is quite a lot, though. Cabe has fallen to third. First two guys are guys that are A-OK -okay with me winning. Uh, with me, for them winning. That's what I'm trying to say. That came out weird. So that is excellent. Really need this race just to go green, and I think we're in a good spot. for position ahead of us to lap trucks. I'm gaining quite a bit on Nick. Almost a second and a half from the last time I checked. We'll have to get around these guys, though. way to do it, but we got around him. Getting around him. You can see Nick on the relative now. He is 3.6.
Dylan pulling away. Love to see it. How much we're gaining on Nick? I think we will be able to catch and pass him. We have enough time for it. 20 laps to go. It's probably the end of the road for us, though. This cave's ahead of him, and he's quite a bit away in front. That's okay. We should have enough points. So long as Cave doesn't win. Trying to get loose on the exits again. Catch it a little there. You've just done a 34.9. Okay, Colter, you're gaining on this car. The gap is 1.3 seconds. Getting up to about one second on Nick. In his draft, so we'll get a little bit of pull on straight away. Thought about going high there. So we're not in his dirty air, but we're not too bad, it seems like. He's getting loose on exit. It's time we take the high line. Oh, got loose. Wow. Okay, got really loose on throttle there. That's not the feeling I was expecting heading into that corner. Gonna have to do a little bit better than that. That didn't really work at all. I think I just missed my marks, though. Some, some smoke up ahead. Really hope no one wrecks. I think the bottom line was working better for us, to be honest. I thought the high line was going to give us much more, but... And yeah, no, that bottom line's working better. That line's kind of gone away, maybe. I don't know. Go on, you're at the bottom. One's still in line for the win. The trade's over yet? Get close to race over. 14 laps to go. The lap time was at 35.1. Look kind of dumb wasting yeah, time with like that. Uh, race of all time. Car outside. Sorry. Hold Focusing up. Oh my goodness. I had uh, on stream What was I saying? The <laughs> race, I thought we were gonna oh, get I feel it. silly I for have, having Where wasted time. Out. I side if it was going to be so much slower. I expected Keep much more line. run out of there. Still there hold your line. It's going to be difficult to pass. Holding on to our outside. Stay low. So the run off. The high side. Clear outside if you want to. I mean, every lap takes so much focus outside. it feels like an up and out. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. 
<laughs> He's fighting hard. We're not gonna catch the next guy ahead anyway, so. That's cool. That was me last run, Gavin. So I'm not the only one chanting to myself, don't be the caution, don't be the caution. I was actually faster on the Highland that time. <laughs> it's loose. It is proving difficult to pass. Hey Rick, I think I beat both of our predictions. Go me. Alright. What, did you make it? <laughs> yeah, Man, I, I caught him so quick, right. but now passing is a whole other story. About 10 to go. Can't do something stupid and wreck myself when I'm trying to beat him for what's essentially a useless position. Was he going up to the wall? So it's like went got the wall. He got pretty close, I think. To the middle line, I did nothing. just cannot get the high line to work at all. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I think I just gotta take the bottom because it's where I'm getting the most speed but I just I haven't been able to clear him or anything down there. That was a good corner compared to last lap at least. Up lap time was 35.3. Just I'm trying to take chunks out of his uh, out of the gap, and then he just gains it back on the exits, and it's easy. <laughs> Dylan still in the lead. Ryan still in second. No turn up here. Just, I keep trying it, and it's just a failure every time. It's happening. <laughs> ah, well, that was silly. I think Nick's got that spot. No damage from the wall here, that's good. Coming up to four on the go. And the way it stands now, we will make it to the championship four. With a top five finish. As long as Dylan or Ryan stay up there. 
I don't freaking wreck myself for no reason. That lap was at 35.4. Got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. <laughs> Nick's gone now. My tires have gone absolutely out the window. Basically just drifting through the corners at this point. Trying a couple different things. That kind of worked. Actually, that worked pretty well. Two more. Let's go. The gap in front is now not quite a slider line. That was fun. I don't know if it was faster. <laughs> We're not catching him. It's been fun trying to get around him, though. Even if we have failed, it looks like. White flag this time. White flag. No cautions to throw us a big curveball. Dylan looking to finish it off. Great race. Great win, Dylan. I can't believe we're on caution free. Great racing, guys. Yeah, what an awesome race. Caution-free race. Good race with you tonight, Bryce. 134 green. Nice win, bud. Dylan gets the win, and unless I am dumb, <laughs> that means we make it to the championship four. Cabe in the wall has given up. I assume that's why he's sitting out there. Good race, good win, man. All right. We were rooting for him. Stage points will have to be tallied, and I'm sure Nick is going to be doing that right away. I haven't raced in about a month. What a race to come back to. But, uh... 57-53. Yeah, Actually, that's not as bad as I thought. I forgot how hard the track was. Well, I missed the start. Started in the pits and got a top 10. I'll take that. Shane started in the pits and got a top 10? Hell yeah, good drive. How do you do that? <laughs> non winner to make the championship for. Now I just have to Daniel Hemrick it. Daniel Hemrick never had a win in the Xfinity series. Until he won the championship. Where he won the race in Phoenix for his first ever NASCAR win. And won the championship. <laughs> we'll see though. That's uh, I mean, we lost by 20 seconds here today. That's going to be quite the task. But uh, hey, got to be optimistic. So, Nick con confirms it for us. We are the only non-winner to make the championship four in a playoff system that is meant to incentivize winning. We uh, hack the system and somehow get in there. We get the top five here today. Dylan gets the win. He locks himself into the championship four with that. And uh, thankfully, because it was not Cabe or, Ra or Gavin... 
or a couple of the other guys there, uh, we make it in. So we will go ahead and look at the incidents here. Not going to be too many to see because oh, it's doing that thing again. My computer's memory issues have been messing with the replays, so we'll have to start on lap 44, I guess. Sorry about that. I'm working on getting that dealt with. But uh, like I said, we're not going to be seeing too much anyway. In fact, right now, I'll probably all we're going to be seeing uh, are the tires getting old. See, guys, uh, nothing going on there, some blinking. And I think it's when tires reach, like, around 50%, they'll start showing up on the incidents. And here's Scott's, the end of his season, unfortunately. Destroys that thing and almost takes out Dylan, too. That's crazy. That would have been quite the development. You can see Dylan's planning on coming in, I think, at the same time. But, uh... Scott overcooks it, back end comes around on him, and he smashes into the barrels, and Dylan, able to get around him, and keep enough speed not to slow down, he still ends up winning the thing. Eighty-one on the outside, getting a little loose, here's Nick pitting late, he stayed out late that second round I think it was. Huge loose for the 81. That's the inside wall and a huge impact. That easily could have been a caution. In fact, he thinks about it and then stops before going on the track. He's not here anymore. I was thinking about just saying thank you. Like, I saw what you did there and didn't pull out onto the track and cause a yellow. That's very courteous of him to do that. To reverse it and stay on the apron so many thanks to him for helping it stay green so 33 into the wall and then gonna find it again maybe here what's Gavin up to nothing it looks like tire wear we're coming up on that time of the run again where guys are getting on their tires including me I was pretty harsh on them that uh, second run I think Nick getting around us. Yeah, one gets the wall just a tiny bit. And then our tire is continually getting worn. Skip ahead a little bit, I guess. Uh, whoa, Bryce getting loose and then wrecks it a little bit into the wall. I'm sure lots of guys dealing with some severe uh, looseness seemed to be the trend for most guys. Gavin running the high line late. Does it get the wall? No. And then uh, the race is over, and uh, Cabe, unfortunately, his championship hopes are over as well. He puts it into the wall after uh, what was still a very solid third place finish. So that will do it for the incidents there. We will go ahead and look at the race results page. Have that loading up right now for you. All right, here it is. It should be showing up now. Dylan gets the win and the fastest lap time. He was the strongest truck out there on the track today. Uh, he'll get 40 points, but what matters is he is into the championship four. Both on uh, points and by winning, essentially. But uh, because he wins, that means that we, with our fifth place finish and our 32 points, will finish ahead on points and uh, earn that uh, fourth championship fourth spot. So we will be going to Phoenix and trying for the championship. 
But uh, that is going to be a difficult one. For sure. So, just happy to be there, though. Very exciting. Did uh, everything we needed to do today. And uh, got ourselves a top five. So, essentially, uh, here's here are the guys in your uh, in your championship four. You've got Dylan, you got Ryan, you got Nick, and you got myself. So, uh, four of the top five in the championship race. Cabe, unfortunately, the odd one out there. Won a ton of times this season. He just uh, missed some races, and that hurt him on his points. In the playoffs and uh, at various points during the season and uh, just missing those races really hurt him because he didn't have the championship points uh, to lean on and just couldn't quite get the the win at the right time here moving down great effort by Gavin he finishes seventh just a uh, two uh two spots behind us there he had a great run and uh, you see here the rest of the field, including Scott, who unfortunately himself comes up just short. He probably would have had a really good chance of it, but he found those barrels. And uh, you saw that. That was a heartbreaker for him. But we will now uh, transition over to the league standings, and we'll see what they look like. This is before um, championship, or, you know, uh, stage points and everything, but... Uh, you know the results regardless. It is uh, Dylan, Ryan, Nick, and myself. Gavin actually just comes five points short right there, not counting the uh, stage points. The gap would be a little bit larger, I think, but uh, he put in a great effort. And you see Cabe down there a little further, Scott and Tyler rounding out your top eight. So... That will do it here for this one. We made it. We made it to Phoenix. And we will be fighting for the championship in, I believe, a couple of weeks. So, very exciting. Very uh, happy to have been able to get it done here today. And uh, it was an excellent race. Fun, excellent race. No uh, yellow flags, just pure racing. So, you gotta love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.